Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. Welcome back to a new Steel Division 2 cast. We are in Steel Division 2 League Season 2. We're in the semi-finals of the playoffs. Game number two between Sean and Nilla. If you missed the first game between this pair, do not proceed forwards. Go back, check that game. Make sure you do not miss it. It was fantastic. It were fant... Um, I got all northern. It were fantastic. That was a terrible. If you're if you're if you're from the UK, you realise how terrible that accent was. I am bad at doing accents. Anyway, get out get out of here. Get out of here. I've lost my train of thought completely. Go back and watch the game. Make sure you don't miss it. But spoilers, spoilers will come forwards if you do continue to watch this. So so go back, watch the game. Right, so Sean on the left hand side in blue. He's playing 20th Panzer on balanced. Nilla on the right hand side. In red, playing 184th, the Austral Covey on Vanguard, the exact same deck. Let's have a look at Sean's balanced 20th Panzer. Is the boy to stall in there? Yes, it is. It's the first thing I always look for when looking at the 20th Panzer. What else do we have? We have some Panzer 3Ms. Uh, we have Urzats and Ostrupen. Oof, that could be... I don't know. It seemed like Nilog managed to push through the um, managed to push through the Urzats trooper pretty well in the last game. So I don't know. Is that a mistake taking the disheartened infantry and so much of it? Sean doesn't look like he's got a lot of infantry in this deck. I mean. He's going to have to make sure he conserves it. Oh, and... Rem oh. And this is one of the new maps. Tally... Ehantala. Let's just head back to the preview page. Tally and Hantala. Brand new map. Fate of Finland. Um, it's the first time you've seen it in a cast. And it's the first time I'm seeing it being played. I haven't played it myself. They aren't on the quick play rotation as far as I'm aware. So a lot of the time I don't end up playing them. Because I play a lot of quick play. Anyway, back to the uh, back to the game. So this is going to be important for Sean. He needs to win this matchup to even up the best of three. If he doesn't, Nilla will make it through to the final. So this is a big, big game for Sean. He's up against the same deck from Nilla, or the, the same division in the 184th so he's got to expect a very early rush of infantry that's how Nilla plays he's seen it now firsthand he's got to expect that so what will he do differently maybe he'll bring in some Panzer 3 L's early I think the A phase card of our G18s I wouldn't be surprised if he brings all of those in Um, maybe maybe an early mortar half track He's just got to hold on, hasn't he? I think this this map is a bit more forgiving. Looking at this map in the south, we have a big lake, which is difficult to cross. So you don't really have to look after your southern flank too much. And in the north, you know, there's only one main road into the north. So I think Sean's going to have a better time. Uh, you know, I think most of this will be concentrating on the center, like it was previously in the previous map. But um, I think Sean's going to have a bit better time uh, holding on in this map. Let's have a look at Nilla's deck. It is exactly the same. I don't think there's any changes whatsoever. I, I didn't check exactly, but I don't recall any differences between this deck and the previous match. He has almost double the amount of infantry just shy of double the amount of infantry that Sean has but tank wise Sean's got a lot more tanks and this time it's not the Panzer II Luxus you know it's the Panzer III's that can definitely stand up to those M5's and they won't lose as easily to the um, anti-tank rifles that the Russians get I think this is going to be interesting to see how this 
moves forwards will sean play exactly the same will he make changes how will he now react to nilla's play style it's just a tough one to call i i'm imagining this is going to be another fantastic game i cannot wait just waiting for both players to start in fact they have hopefully you enjoy this cast if you do remember to like it and also if you haven't subscribed remember to subscribe so recap sean on the left is that a panzer t34 that's not moving wow micro mistake from sean sean on the left hand side in blue it is moving now playing the 20th panzer on balance income uh, with a fairly balanced deployment there is a missing area here on this flag nilla on the right hand side in red playing the 184th Strelkovi on vanguard income going very heavy up north with an early attack and uh, a lot of smoke being pushed down he's heading for the compound he's going to get there he's going to get into that compound with Ogmachiki before sean gets there sean's loaded his pack well the 45 mil he's still pushing in there and i think he's no he's now realizing he's not going to make it into the position he's having to unload troops early can nilla hold that northern position in in the south this lake this is what i was talking about about when I was saying the southern flank is fairly secure, all Sean is doing is putting an IG-18, you know, in this southern area, and that's going to protect his southern flank. This one northern road, this was what I was talking about. I think if Sean can hold this compound, if he can somehow hold this compound, although he's at an income disadvantage, so you've got to bet against him, then, you know, he can shut down a northern attack down this road. So I imagine a lot of concentration is going to occur in the centre. Interesting, the commandant almost is out of position here. He, I would expect Sean was probably trying to get him into this position, but he was caught off guard. The battery Fury is now pushing forwards to up vet the AA gun, but we have a sniper heading behind enemy lines. It is the leader sniper once again. The uh, mortars raining down on those northern flamers. Will Sean be able to get back into position? Oh, look at this T-34. It's managed to sneak into a position where it can fire on the Strelke DP. Nice work from Sean. Nice use of the line of sight there. Oh, but there is fire coming in from the 52P. That won't really worry Sean. It has no anti-tank weaponry there. So he is pushing forward with the Panzergrenz and the Battery Fuhrer. He has pinned down one of the Strelkes. Looks like he's going to recover this compound, which is going to hurt Nilla. The mortar's still raining down, making it difficult for Sean, but he is push pushing Panzergrenz forward. Will he get this compound back? This is incredibly tight. Three-star Strelke DPs. No, Sean, I think, has given up, and he's having to fall back those Panzergrenz. Nearly, nearly. Big and tight, very tight engagement between the two players, very skilled players. Look at this sniper behind you know almost getting behind enemy lines the ognomachiki on their way behind enemy lines as well so nila using those effects oh tracks broken down onto the t-34 from the m42 gone and actually sean if he pushes through these urzats trooper and oh the ognomachiki should beat them oh and, and nila pushing forwards with strokey down south but there is a unit of panzergrens here some sean has actually picked up a flag from nila here and Nilla, I don't think he spotted this. He needs to get a unit into this area to recover this flag. Yeah, he has now spotted it. Ognomachiki are heading in there. But it hurts Nilla every time that he's not at an advantage early on in this game. It is hurting him. Off map in the WC 52 KO 280mm off map. This is a big boy. This could uh, really hurt Sean early on. But actually he's backed off that T-34 unintentionally. I think after the M42 gun came in, the off map comes down. Panzergrenz are pinned down. Nilla is now advancing forwards, especially on the north with those Strelke. Nice flank up north. Everything is falling back from Sean. He's going to have to fall back from that position into this second compound. I feel like it. Nilla is going to really secure that, but it's still a 12-12. Although Nilla is now recovering this southern flag, it is going to make it a 13 11. The Urzats Troopen were taken out in the heavy forest by the Old Machiki. Oh, we have a ping. Sean has pinged the 52p. 
firing onto that Uzi that's stupid. I imagine he probably wants to use either some artillery or an airstrike. So he's just marking it in case those Uzi that's stupid die and uh, he loses sight of that position. Snipers pushing forwards out and I'm going to start engaging the battery Fuhrer. The M42 gun taking shots at the SDK side at 11 flak should win that out. Another off map strike, or it may well be the remnants of that previous one. Reinforcing Urzat's troop and have come through. I don't know whether that's a, another off map strike. That seems to have been going, going on for some time. Wow, look at all of this infantry that Miller is bringing in. Do have an ME109. G2R1 heading in, trying to hit that 52P. Oh, the uh, pack gun does take it out, the 45 mil. Look at Nilla's reinforcements. He is waiting to order them into position. I think he's going to push for an attack down here, possibly into this compound down here. But Sean is sneaking flags here. Sean's actually up to 13-11, and Sean's doing what Sean does best. He sneaks flags early on into this game. The 52p did go down at some point. I'm not sure what took it out, but it did go down there. And Nilla needs to allocate something, even if he just allocates a tank. Oh, I think he's going to... Yeah, if he drops off the M42, they will recover the flag. But yeah... Oh, an off-map here from Nilla. I think he's putting it in advance of a Tanko Disaniki rush, but there's nothing in this compound. So a bad placement of off-map there for Nilla. He won't know what's there, but the battery floor did go down after taking successive shots from that sniper. It finally went down to the strokey. Oof, that Panzer 3L has actually managed to get a strike onto that 82 mil. Snuck through there. Looks like there's no line of sight whatsoever, but has managed to engage. That off map's not going to hit anything. And Nilla also spoken off an area where there are no units. Ooh, the 52, sorry, the 45 mil is going to ambush this T-34 repositioning. And it could well get a rear shot here. Wow, it's not managed to uh, take out that T-34-76. Does so, does get a side shot. Does get a side shot. Sean pushing back in the north. He's taken out a number of strokey. There were three squads up here, down to one remaining. A lot of infantry in here. There's a T-34 in a nice position. Nilla looks to have been losing positions. Oh, in comes this central Tanko Disaniki push. Down goes two units, I think, in transports. He's heading into this forest. It looks like he is going to pick up a flag here. Panzer 3L desperately falling back, but it's... Oh, he gets surrendered. Oh, that hurts. I think it fell back into a final off-map strike from that off-map of Nilla's and the Tango Disaniki managed to surrender it. Nilla picks up the flag 13-11, but it's only a 13-11. We are 7 minutes 55 seconds into this game. Sean is desperately rushing Urzat's trooping in. He doesn't go for it. He did not go for it, so he's biding his time. Uh, uh, fantastic play because I would have pushed for that. And I think those Urzat's Trooper would have been completely decimated by the Tango Disaniki. So, fantastic play there from Sean. Did not push that engagement when he didn't need to. In comes the ME109 G2R1. Going to take a shot at these Strokey units. And uh, just pin them both down. T-34 is going to engage as well. On the southern side, still not much action. The Panzer Grenadiers could make some progress here against these PTRS-41s. Oh, look at, look at Sean, how he's managed to stick this Urzat Strupen into a position where they're not being spotted by any of these M42 guns. Surely the Strokies will spot them now. I'm kind of surprised Sean hasn't sort of pushed them a bit further south, but... The IG-18 opens up onto the Strokey DP. Wow, I cannot believe those Urzats Troopers are, are able to stay in that position. Sean has recovered the Northern Compound. Big moment from Sean recapturing that Northern Compound. The Avto Comrotti is out in the uh, court almost behind enemy lines, but there is a lot of infantry. But it's all kind of contained in this like small little city, sorry, small little township. 
with the uh, accompanying forests, they were all stuck in there. How are they going to move out in the open? They aren't. They aren't going to push forwards from that position. There's nowhere for them to go. Nila hasn't got supporting fire. We do have an ISU-122 heading into the battlefield now. But Nila is going to struggle to push out from that position. He is 14-10 up with these two flags here. But it's still 14-10 and we're out of A phase. Nila really needs to get that 15-9 if he's going to really win this game. The flag 38-20 engaging the Strelke. More infantry reserves coming into this northern side. Oh, Nila drops an off map. I think he saw those infantry reserves coming in and he's dropped an off map, but Sean didn't push into that position. Will that off map fire before Sean pushes in there? This could be a major kind of... Oh no, he's cancelled and reallocated. He has cancelled and reallocated that off map. So good decision from Nitla there. Wow, that could have been... Devastating. A lot of smoke has come down into the southern side. Looks like another infantry push is going to be made. Will they make it in time before that smoke clears? I'm kind of worried. In comes another ME109 trying to strike down on those 45 mils. And Sean has been pushing down in this southern side. May well be able to uh, take out these Ognamachiki. Cherno Pizzaniki moving out, but the smoke is starting to clear. I'm not sure if they're going to make it in time. They aren't going to make it in time. The T-34 is going to have a an easy time of shooting at these transports one by one. Also, the T-34... And further north also going to be able to take out those transports mortars do start hitting the IG-18s but Nilla has lost the advantage of smoke the advantage of cover will he make it with these last two Cherno Pizzanikis he needs to get them in that forest ASAP Yeah, there goes the order. Little bit delayed. More smoke? No, mortars. Ooh, but I think a couple of them hit their own troops. I think the tank also engaging. Wow, look at this position for the IG-18. Can fire all the way up north as well. Beautiful. So this southern push has completely failed from Nilla. He's still at 13-11. We're 12 minutes 52 into this game. And Sean's got to be happy with this performance so far. At this stage... Was he... I can't... I think he'd already surrendered by this point. I think he'd already surrendered by this point in the uh, previous game. This ISU is... May... Could get flanked if this Panzer... Panzer 3L pushes a bit further south. I guess it would turn and face frontal armor at that point because I think the tanks in here have gone down. But like I said before, Nilla cannot break out of this area. He's kind of contained in here. His infantry cannot go anywhere. They're going to have to move out on foot and that would just be deadly. He's going to have to launch another one of his smoke and transport rushes if he's going to try and push forwards into this kind of position. Oh, down south. It looks like he's felt threatened. The Urzatz trooping have been spotted. The uh, IG-18 has been fired upon. And the strafing runs coming in from the IL-2 M3. I think Nilla will be able to hold on to this position. The Ongmachiki didn't push forward for that surrender, so I don't know whether... Nilla lost sight of those Panzergrens at the last minute and has not ordered that movement forwards. But the T-34 is starting to get surrounded. Finally, the Strokey. I think they've made their way through from this forest. This is probably a better bet. Bring your transports down here 
into this forest and then pushing them through on foot it just will take a, such a long time even like dropping them off maybe here pushing them down on foot over the open ground here and pushing them through it just takes such a long time to do that but Sean is risking his hands at T34 he's gambling that Nilla cannot take it out and Nilla can't take it out so Sean's just holding on to that flag 14-11 to Nilla 15 minutes into this game 21 minutes for Sean to hold on or in fact for Nilla to hold on and pick up the victory these Panzergwens could well go down to the Chino Pizzaniki's pushing through this light forest and if they do this flag back here is start started to be kind of threatened by Nilla he really needs to pick up a 15-9 right now he needs to pick up a flag this T-34 has to go down. If that T-34 goes down, he gets the flag. There is an M-42 pushing forwards now. And the T-34 just can't reply. The load of wounded, I think, is, is meaning that that T-34 just cannot reply. But the M-42 gun is really struggling to penetrate that armor. It's just giving Sean enough time to rush in infantry reserves. That T-34 has been... It's just held up this entire push. He's given Sean that... If he can hold a 14-10, Sean will be happy. It's when Nilla gets into the 59 kind of position that Sean is in trouble. He has that 59 now. This flag back here has been captured by the M42 gun, of all things. The Panzer 3L did go down. The Panzer Gwens did survive against the push of the Cherno Pizanikis. But the ISU is, you know, pushing into the open as well. And that's a big monster. It's going to protect this reinforcement road. Nice positioning. If you can get this down and protect that crossroads, it will be a nice positioning. The T-34, I think, has finally sort of backed off. He's having to fall back. And Nilla is look, starting to look like possibly he could win this. 16-8 up right now. 9 minutes 30 left on the clock. Nilla has to maintain a 15-9 for at least a good 5 minutes, I think. And then he might be able to grind out a victory. He's going to push another wave up north, but there's no smoke this time covering the advance. There is an ISU in here, though, that's slowly making its way forward. The ISU's gone down in the center. Look at this, Pack 43. Did take that ISU down in that center. Nice work from Sean. Did not spot that one coming through either, and there's another Pack 43 here. Was this another ISU? Yes, another ISU's gone down. So two ISUs in a matter of moments. Nilla back to a 14-10. Sean's re-establishes that 14-10. 17 minutes 56. Oh, it's dancing around that 14-10, 59 mark. It's very tight right now. Nilla has to maintain that 59. Really does. He really needs to maintain that 59. We're about to head into C phase. Oh, in comes the Panzer 4 F1s. We don't see these often. But they are 35 points apiece, and they have 12 rounds a minute on those HE shells, so relatively nice. Let's just zoom in and have a look at this Panzer IV F1. Oh, lovely looking model. Lovely looking model and beautiful cinematics of the battlefield. I like to try and get some cinematics in, but I have to do them ever so briefly. I don't want to miss the action. Nilla still not managed to break out from this central position. Oh, and if Sean could rush through some infantry units into this compound, he would have a nice time. They pass out the fours, though. They are very slow. Very slow. Nilla has managed to recapture the northern compound, but he's down to a 13-11. He's lost flags. He's lost this flag here. He's lost this flag down here. Sean is starting to stabilize. 16 minutes for Nilla to hang on to a 13-11 and I, I don't think he can do it. 16 minutes is a very long time. I don't see why Nilla's attacking that IG-18. He, 
He's not going to be able to push forwards here. And I mean, I know he's losing units, but it seems an odd choice for that IL-2. I'd rather attack something, you know, up north or in the center, you know, the MG-42s. Infantry. Where is he? He needs to push a unit into this forest. You know, that would at least recapture this flag. You know, a cheap unit in there. All of his mortars are out of supply. Possibly could advance in the very far north, but, you know, it's starting to get close to the spawn. He still has that 1311. He still could win this game. But it's looking tougher and tougher. Oh, look at the ISU here pushing forwards. There is nothing. Oh, nice kill on the Panzer IV F1. Will he get another kill as well? Not many shells on this thing. Has to push forward once again. Oh, and Nilla's got it on an attack order. So, yeah, he does remicro it. Because it was pushing out of cover there. Looks like Sean is pushing forwards in this centre. It's looking like he could re-establish a 12-12 at any point now. Oh, Flak 41 coming in here. I'm guessing it's going to sit down here. Oh, look at this pack 40. Sean has microed that into position. He's got it on holding fire. He, he now takes his opportunity to engage that ISU 122. Will it get the kill? No, the ISU is going to back off in time. So Sean misses out on that opportunity, and the Chinapids and Ike are going to close in quickly. But there are reinforcing Panzergrens. I think they're going to catch Nilla off guard here. He's chasing that pack 40 into the trap of the Panzergrens. Ho oh, ho ho! And the strike from the ME109 G2R1 coming in as well. Ooh, off map from Sean from the Bayo Panzer 250 slash 5. 220 mil off map there. Nilla's gonna suffer in that position. Ooh, the kill does come in onto the T34 in the south. Actually, well, no, there is still a pack 43 here. Sean's got a big command. Like, these M5s are going to start moving forwards, but that pack 43 is just going to decimate them. Oof! One shot, one kill. And the other one, is it going to back away in time? No, it is not. Those M5s go down, and Nilla's looking in trouble. Nilla is looking in trouble. He still holds that 1311. In come some Flammenwerfers. Trying to pick up Surrenders. Can Sean do it? Picks up the flag. Does pick up the Surrenders. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Another off map coming in as well. Nilla has recaptured this flag, but. Oh, he may well capture this one up north as well. Oh, the M5 does go down to the pack 40 there. Important kill. And Nilla's retreating his stroke DPs. Without those M5s to support him, he knows he cannot take on the uh, Panzergrens with the half tracks there as well. Oh, the Panzer IV-G, is it going to go down? Yes, it does go down to the AT grenade of the Strelke, relieving a little bit of pressure from Nilla. Still a 14-10. Oof. That off-map taking down a unit of infantry and the AA gun in that central position. Oh, look at Sean, though. He's equaled up the 12-12. 24 minutes, 22 seconds. There is not a lot from Nilla in here at the back. Another off-map coming down. 
But yeah, this, this area here is really weak for Nilla right now. Just one unit of Strokey coming in to try and recover this front line, but... Don't think it's going to be enough. Where are these units heading? Are they heading... No. I was wondering whether they were going to head into that off map for a moment. Another off map as well coming in to the northern position. I think Sean's going to target this compound. Yes, he is. Nilla's looking for some kind of counter attack here, but he's going to struggle. He's resupplying his mortars. I think he's going to smoke the position and look for a counter attack. But I also think it's probably too late. Twelve, twelve. Sean has managed to equal up the game once again. Another off map going to come in, decimate this compound. Oh, it's tough to see how Sean's going to lose this game right now. And Nilla would have to pull out something special, I think. The off map does come down. Down go the uh, leaders. The Avto Comrotti. In comes the IL-2 M3. Oh, bad camera work. <laughs> we didn't miss the strike, though. The Panzer 3L does survive. Now the smoke comes down. But how is Nilla going to push forwards? So he is going to push forwards, but... I... There is a Pack 43 here. Oh, that smoke came just at the right time, but there was a shot from the Panzer III L there. Is it still able to take shots? So Nilla may well get back into this position after all. No, he loses that unit in the transport. Ooh. Those Strokey are getting suppressed rather quickly. Yep, yeah, another one lost. Does not recover the position. All the off-map coming down up north as well is decimating his troops. Sean now up to a 13-11. Down goes the ISU. I think it was this Pack 43 down here. Either that or an airstrike that we missed. The flat guns are really starting to protect Sean from those air attacks. Nilla. His playstyle is very infantry based and right now he's just throwing infantry after infantry at the positions, desperately trying to recover at 1212, but he needs to take two flags. He needs to take two flags, so these two are probably the most likely to be taken, but there's like four infantry units just decimated. Another wave of infantry attacks gonna push forwards. It's like it's like when you're in an indie game and you're playing against a boss and it boss and it's just wave after wave of the same unit. Oh, in comes the JU87 bombers. Oh, down goes two infantry immediately. And another wave to the slaughter. More smoke coming down from Nilo. He's gonna try one more time, surely. No, he's actually uh, using HE onto the pack 43 here. Still a 12-12 though. He has managed to recapture this flag. It's just how long has he got left? Well, he's having to reallocate units back up to the north. He has to make a flag back. Oh, in fact, Sean sneaks this one back here as well. And there's the surrender from Nilla. 29 minutes, 15 seconds, Sean picks up the victory. 3,100 kills to 2,500 losses. Squares up the best of three in this matchup. 
One win apiece for Sean and Nilla. It's going to go down to a decider. Make sure you do not miss that one. Wow. I think this was a good game. Definitely, um... Sean was able to hold off Nilla ad Nilla's advances early. I think the map helped Sean. That southern side meant that a complete flank was unavailable for Nilla to push forwards at. So that allowed Sean to concentrate the defence into tighter choke points up north. I think that really helped him out. He definitely tra traded much better. 3,100 kills to 2,500 losses. Sean did, did fantastically well. Nilla, you know, he struggled a lot more. I think towards the end, there were there was a push that he launched with a lot of Chernopids and Nikas without the cover of smoke, which which failed. And then he kind of was was left to to launch infantry wave after infantry wave in it. It just wasn't enough for sh to to beat Sean this time. Let's jump, have a look at the kills for Sean. The ME109 G2R1. It was something I kept meaning to say, but I think this was really quite a key point. I'm glad we can see this in the kills. One, two, three, 52 Ps, a mortar unit, and two M42 guns taken down by that ME109. Sean was able to use the ME109s a lot better in this game to uh, really take down the supporting units from Nilla. And that really helped him out. Those ME109 strikes were a lot better off this time, you know, in this game than they were in the previous game. I think he was able to get tanks into nice positions as well. This Panzer 3L takes a number of kills. He was definitely able to leverage the tank advantage. I think in the previous game, the Panzer II Luxes were too weak and they were taken out by the PTRS and the PTRD anti-tank rifles that the Russians have. The Panzer III L is a lot stronger. They were able to stand up to those anti-tank rifles and the M5s that Nilla was able to bring out. The Pack 43s as well did a great job taking out the ISUs. And then the off map, I think, finished things off for Sean, so... Definitely a much tighter display, and one we're much more used to of seeing of Sean. Does take it to a deciding game, make sure you do not miss that one. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, hit that like button. Also hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Head into the description, check out links to my socials, and... Also, you know, head over to my Twitch page. Follow me and uh, make sure you turn up to uh, watch me play Steel Division 2 live. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But that's f it for me for, to for today's cast. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you again soon. Do not miss the decider.